Hello friends, today I'm going to solve it with problem 1657 determine if two strings are close. So the two strings are close if we could achieve one string from the another string using these two operations. The first operation is swapping any of the two existing characters and the second operation is that all the char uh, all the occurrences of a character is um, turned into another character and all of that character is turned into the first character so a's are turned into b's and b's are turned into a's so let's just look at the example and how it could solve it so in this problem here what we are doing is um a matches right we have an a here we have a c here and we also have a d here but the thing that doesn't match is b here we have a b here but we have an e here and we have an E at the end while there is a B at the end. So what we could do it, we could just interchange these two characters here. And the resulting character would be so A, E, C, D, and a B, which will be equal to this character, right? So this will be a closed string. And in this case, um, what we are doing is we are actually changing all the A's to B's. So basically the number of frequencies of A is equals to 3 here and B is equals to 2 here. But in this case, in this string, the number of frequencies of B is 3 and of A is equals to 2. So what we are doing is we are just um, turning all the A's into B's. So if A's become B's and B's become A, then the frequencies of A's and B's both match and C, it's already the C, C frequency of C in both the cases is 1, right? So that is what we uh, need to do to uh, make the string close. Now, how could we solve it in um, using our code in very using very less time and space complexity so for that we actually do not need to convert all the a's into b's all we need to see is if we if there is a possibility uh, that the frequencies could be converted a's could be converted into b's and then uh, could we achieve this one so what is um how could we know if all the A's after converting into B's and B's converting to A, we could achieve um, the, uh, the strings could be close. So it's by checking the frequency. So all we need to do is we all just need to check the frequency. So definitely uh, the characters present in this string must be present in this string and it doesn't matter what the frequency of the characters is. We are just going to check since the frequency and the characters are pre here is ABC and in this case also we have ABC, right? So um, we have ABC. Now we check the frequency. Um, the frequency of each of the characters here is 3, 2 and 1. Here also it's 3, 2 and 1. And no matter um, the frequency uh, might be... Um, um, the frequency could be different for different uh, characters in both the string but uh, what we could do is we could actually interchange right uh, turn a to b and b to a so that will actually um, give us the closest string so all we need to check is the characters must be present in both the string and the frequency should match so let's uh, dive into solving the problem so what are we gonna need is to store our frequencies we need a map so instead of map I'm gonna use an array array um, of length 26 because the total number of characters we could possibly have is 26 and then um, we are just gonna compare um, the characters in the array so let's just dive in array of length 26 and fill all the values with 0 and the next array of again length 26 and fill all of them with 0 and now 
for each of the characters in um, both the words so let i equals to zero i is less than one dot i plus plus yes so one thing to keep in mind is also that the length of both the strings should be equal if not um we could not achieve one string from the another because then the frequency won't match so so this will be our base case if it's not equal to word to that length return a false okay You know, for each of the characters, mm. so okay. So what we need is we are gonna store the character code. So I word one. I dot code at the position minus the character code at of a in my so we are gonna get the character code of this and then increment that value and we are gonna do the same thing for our second word so basically we are saving the frequencies into our array array 1 and array 2 and then next what we are going to do is we are going to check if the word if the character in array 1 is in array 2 so basically we are checking if all the characters in word 1 is present in word 2 and vice versa so for let i equals to zero i is less than array one dot land i plus plus if not array i and and i or so which if this means that okay this means that the character present in array 1 is not present in array 2 or character present in character is present in array 2 and not present in array 1 so if this is the case um then we're going to return a false Now, since we know that all the characters are present in both the case uh, string, now we are going to check the frequencies. So our frequency is saved in this word, right? Uh, in this array. So um, so what we are going to do is we are going to sort with the arrays sort in a descending order so minus p okay sorry come on p return b minus a so i'm gonna sort with the arrays in the descending order and now i'm gonna check why one dot uh, j equals to zero and while j is less than array one dot land and um the value at i is greater than zero
okay so this actually will be our breaking point so now if area i is greater than is less than equals to zero or array two i less than equals to zero then we just break well basically you both should be equals to zero and then you also check if array one i is not equals to array two i then return false so if both of them are not equal which means that the frequency doesn't match um, the frequency uh, is not a match then we return a false and also we return a false when we uh, also we break when we encounter a zero in both of them and yeah definitely if that is not equals to else we just increment our z value and then return true at the end now let's run our code and see if everything is correct okay so there is a problem here So we never reached here. Okay, so I need this thing here. It's not an I, it's a J. Great, now let's submit our code. Cool. So talking about the time complexity, um, since we are um, looping over the word length of the word so it will be of n and the air rates of over 26 basically it's constant because the value the length could be maximum length is always constant right 
and in this case also the length is constant so the time complexity is of n and the space complexity is here it's constant space complexity so it's of one